Hey, nobody can have this job. This is my job. It's free. But. <laughs> I like that kick. I love it. Today is planning day, guys. We've rode up these up here. Well, I haven't really. I helped out a little bit, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven rows here, 60 plus feet long. Then we have one, two, three. And they're working on their fourth and fifth for a total of um, 13. Adriana, she's doing, Adriana's doing great right here. You can see how she's building up this wall really, really good. You're pulling this, this stick out. It's coming out. There we go. So, they're gonna do, this is the last one. This is the fifth one. And we're gonna take a break. Mommy should be home soon. And then we'll have one, two, three, four, four more to go. These last, I would say, um, one, two, three, are gonna be all potato and onion. So it's gonna be onions right here and onions right there. And then we're gonna go potatoes, potatoes, and then this whole fence right here. Okay, starting here is gonna be pole beans all the way there. But yeah, we'll have all those. I'm excited guys, I'm really, really excited. And as you can see, my work here, grading, I'm not done. And then I got all this grading done here. It's pretty cool. See all this? I level this out, this, this, we, this, by the way, we're right here. I have a picture, it was a mound about eight feet tall. And look, that's how much we got it down. There's a little bit of a, a divot there. I think we have a natural spring there. There's water that bubbles out of the ground right there. Um, it's a natural low spot, so I'm trying to see if maybe, even after all this grading, I wanted to see if it was true. So what I did was I created this little pool area, and I want to see if that dries up, because that's, that's either a spring right there, where all those, all that is growing, or the spring is here, and then it just kind of sloped and fed it there. But um, I put a lot of dirt here, and it's still bubbled up a little bit so i'll put some more and see what's going on but i just don't see it drying off at all so we'll see but everything else i heard something in the woods a turkey had just flown in there earlier these two piles are gone they're going to be gone here by next week, the guy promised me he'll be here and he'll move it all. He's going to take all this and push it all into the woods out there. That row of pines or whatever that is, I don't know, cedar or spruce or whatever, we're going to push it all the way back there too. We're going to scrape all that off. And we're going to have all pasture here. That's my hope. So today we are taking time to start planting our seeds. I've got several different seeds that we're going to plant. But what I'm going to start with here is, at least in this row, we've got lettuce and arugula and spinach, and then I've got kale and radishes that I'm going to work on next. And we've got all kinds of stuff. We've got different squash. We've got tomatoes, those are the trellises over here. We've also got different types of beans, as well as peas and carrots, onions, peas. I'm making some other stuff in there. I'm excited because we didn't get to do a garden last year. We did plant some berry bushes, but um, garden-wise, we really didn't do one because we just didn't have the land ready for it. So I've just come home from work, by the way. Change and got right out here. I like being dirty, <laughs> not dressed up, <laughs> sadly, but that's where I'm comfortable, so. Awesome. We had a huge um, rainstorm a few days ago and that really washed away a lot of this stuff that we dug up and it's revealed a lot more um, rocks to pick up so it's gonna be a long long effort to get this stuff cleaned up but that's okay good stuff takes time Chancho you're not being very nice it's trying to bite him <laughs> Moody today. It's 
so what I'm going to put in first is a type of romaine lettuce. And um, I'm not doing anything special, just kind of throwing some seeds in. They're going to be a little bit clumped here and there. Go check out what they're doing with the ducks over there. We introduced the goose to the seven ducklings. I'm just wondering what they're going to say. being nice, I just don't think she knows what to do. What, honey? Hold on, what was that? Uh huh. Like it, like it. Basil? I know, I like it, I said. Oh, so. She got it. She loved the Peruvian green spaghetti. Ben's busting his hump, man. I was just watching this video by this one guy saying, the farther you get from the, from creation, all this, the farther you get away from, you go away from the creator. Our man up there, up top, you know, our Lord and Savior. So I'm so happy to be here and watch my children just hump their backs. Not, you know, they don't enjoy it right now, but when all this is humping and pumping, like I just showed how much money the girls have made with eggs and they're motivated to buy more chickens. And then when I when they saw how much money they've been putting away, then Kaylin out of nowhere, the least, the girl that hates just a, a drop of sweat on her. Look at her. She's out here now because she wants to put in so she can start earning. Man, she's out here with creation. Little does she know that she is really relying on the creator that created all this for us. It's amazing. It really is amazing to know that all this... You know, it's, it's like they said, if um, you can buy one book and make your child read or you can build a library and fill it with books, eventually your son or daughter will read. It's kind of wonderful. You know, this our Lord and Savior built this library full of books and everything that's needed and all the knowledge that we need, all his wisdom, he put it in one book, the Bible. And here we are. And now we're working it. You know, we're doing what he told us to do to work so that we can eat. And we're enjoying it, and you guys are following along. Thank you so much, guys. No! <laughs> I'm filming! I can't get out. I'm so done. I'm so done. We're using it! Side by side. Go. Give me an egg! Go! 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 All right, so we went out today. It was a busy day. We got 10 bags of pig feed and one bag of rabbit feed. We got clamps and a light bulb for the for the chicks. And, oh, we also picked up food scraps for the pigs. So we're putting the pig food away and then we just filled up a pool for the ducks. Here, put them in the pool. Fill it up all the way. Put them in that pool. And then just walk away because he'll run away. Lucy is not happy.
Yeah. All right, we got a competition here. Ooh, she said, excuses only satisfy those who make them. How many more you got left, girls? Did you finish the whole row? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Right here, come back here. Right there, hit it hard. Look at that. Where'd it go, Sam? Threw him wrong, Sam. Yeah, that's all you need. Down the middle. That's it. It'll help you with your arm strength, man. You'll be throwing 90 mile per hour fastballs. Look at Ben. Ben look at Ben in his rows, man. Ben, that's awesome. You're like perfect, dude. Look, <laughs> look at this, guys. Good job. There you go. There you go, Kaylin. Look at all the kids. Also, you can you can follow us at hashtag manhand on Instagram. Yep. Hashtag manhand. Right? Look at that. We don't need gloves. Yeah. Show me. Why? Because you got what? Man. Your skin's your gloves. Well, let me tell you this, guys. I'm enjoying this because I don't like to do this by myself. Thanks for the help. All right, you guys done here? You guys got all the way to the end? All right, now we got to get... Let's go get... Let's take a break and let's go get something to eat. All right? Okay. Okay, then I'll take the... I'll go in with the girls. The workers. Look at that. They're, they got to take their union break. I like it. See, you guys, hey, you guys outlasted the girls because you guys are what? Let's see if we have any eggs here. Oh, I see an olive oil. Okay, we're all done. There's only two eggs. Okay, we're tearing up all that GMO free food we gave them from our buddies. They've tore it all up. These guys are animals. Look, we got we got the baby duckies here. We got we got the ducklings here with Coco. What is it? The oh yes. <laughs> it's a big deal, guys. This is a big deal on the deal. No, give it to them. Happy birthday. You can have the rest today. No, no, I don't want the rest. One more. That ranch, I, one more. I can't live without that ranch. That, that's not store bought, you know that. That's homemade. Right. That's what she was saying. From the lanes at Knight's Cafe. Let's yeah. let's do a little plug for them. I want to take care of the little people in this world. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. so we got blueberry. These are gonna be Duke blueberry. And what we want to do is we want to push it like this. You see that? That's how you do it. Okay. And then you put it right in here like that. We want to put a little bit of compost down there straw help it drain and then we do this and we do this and we break this up clay has a lot of minerals it just has to be bro broken up now, at least that's what they tell me right now i'm no expert I'm just telling you what they told me so i pass along what i learn to you guys so all this black soil underneath is compost so it's already been composted and that's it. Now we're going to come back and flag all these. Because as you can see, you can see the pattern. One, two, three, four, like that. And then we have one there. There and all the way around, all the way to the corner. And then we have a pumpkin plant in there. I wonder whose that is. <laughs> okay. That's mine. And then we want to walk off three or four feet and start over. This is the process. So Caitlin, Caitlin did this all by herself. Okay. She dug that hole, but now we're going to go like this. One. 
right about here. Then we, we start here. I know Kaylin, Kaylin wants to do it, she will, but I just want to show you guys what it's going to look like. You just go in here. This is a little harder. We do the, the wiggle dance. See, the challenge is who can stay on the shovel the longest. All right, guys, we're here at Shiner Stash. Sven called me and said, hey, come in here. I want you to try something. So we're going to go try it right now. This is our spot right here. When we want, we, we're craving protein, we come here. Okay. Guys, my favorite is the, uh, I would have to say the, the, oh, they don't have it. The bacon jerky. Just chicken. We're gonna try chicken with Everglades seasoning. It's a work in progress. No, but. Mm -hmm. Good, right? Yeah. So now how can I get, if I produce this, how do I get more Everglades seasoning? I know. I got a one. So, I'm experimenting with all this chicken. That's pretty good. I think that's good, man. Listen, that'll cater to women better than that sweet stuff. Yeah. Because chicken, you know, that's what they like. You know? It's a healthier choice. So I got some sriracha chicken. Mm -hmm. Cheer wine. You know cheer wine? Yeah. Mm. So it's sweet then. You gonna try some? Oh yeah, sure. Like He's not allowed. Feel. That's your son, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, now you gotta eat it. Uh, five second rule. Whoa. That's pit master. That's good. Mm hmm. He's got all, I mean, garlic powder, garlic salt. That one's really good, guys. Mm hmm. Yeah. That, that, that's gotta be up there. So, this is cheer wine. This is a work in progress because this is only the first, like, addition. I got, I got, um, this is whole muscle. What that means is we just sliced it up from the breast. So, it's gonna be a little tougher. So, it's gonna be a little bit tougher. And there's another, there's another uh, thing that, you know, when you tell me what you think, I'll tell you what I think. You get the same kind of flavors, but it's not as potent, right? It's not. Is, is it the fibers? Or yeah. Absorbent? It is. It's not absorbent. That brown right. is going to absorb it more because it's in within a little bit of chunks and stuff, you know what right. I mean? So this has to marinate for at least 24 hours. Now this is sweet and spicy. So sweet and spicy chicken. This is one of my, I like this one. This is whole muscle too. I didn't ground it. Hey, nobody can have this job. This is my job. It's free. Yeah. But. <laughs> I like that kick. See, it doesn't even feel like muscle because it does have a kick. Yeah. It leaves a thing leak in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, when you make the mouth tingle, you salivate, it moisturizes yeah. the tough meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not dry. Right. It's not. You would think it would be like a little dry sauce chicken. Let me get you a little bit, please. So I'm going to have um, that sriracha. That's good. Oh, crap. <laughs> so what I did is I did my um, my Cajun. On loose spicy. The sriracha is not that... No, the, the sriracha is not as spicy as that sweet and spicy that we, I just gave you. The sriracha is spicy, but it's not as spicy as sweet. But you're not going to be able to really taste it because of the fact that you just had the sweet and spicy. But this right here, I make this out of my Cajun marinade with a little bit of chili in there, the sriracha chili. And these, again, it needs to marinate on this. But it's, oh, it's good. But your Everglades is kicking. And that's what I was going to tell you. We could get that. We can get some marinade up your, um, not your marinade, but your Everglades seasoning. Because this is all I got left. So I gotta bring another. I got two more. I got all these here, but I'm saying if I go into full production. I like that kick. I love it. Now here, let me show you. If 
I go into full production, this is what I have. I don't have the, what's that other one that you had with the green label? Yeah, that's just regular one. That's I the original. That stuff. But if you go for that, how much do you need? Okay, so this is what I'm telling you. These are fine, but when I'm in full production, that's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pitmaster. We lost another chick today, guys. So we started with 74, we lost the four extra that we got. So we're down to 70, 70 meat birds. There's the, the grandma of the joint. That's a lot of patos. My mom just fed the ducklies. They're getting big. Three weeks, that's how big they are. We have a frost advisory today, and I think today's the last day of the frost advisory. Hopefully we can put them with the other birds. Hopefully.